Quite often in either databases or spreadsheets, you will encounter a situation such as this. You'll have similar values in columns, such as here with City 1, City 2, and City 3, that you'd actually like to see in one column, along with the column that tells you what order those values were in in the original table. In this video, we'll show you how to quickly do this in a matter of minutes using Power Query, which is a free plugin for Microsoft Excel 2013. Here in Microsoft Excel 2013, you'll see that the Power Query plugin is active at the top ribbon. Let's go ahead and pull in the data that we'll be using for this demonstration. The Power Query plugin will then reach out to the OData access feed and pull that information into the query editor. And moving across uh, this data set, you'll see that we have at the end uh, three columns for actor, actor one, actor two, and actor three. So let's go ahead and multi-select those columns. Right click and unpivot columns. At this point, you'll see that the number of rows were tripled and basically you have an attribute specifying which column the actor was originally in along with their name. At this point, that's all you need to know for a very simple unpivot function. Uh, I'll also go ahead and show how you could unpivot the writer's column, which is separated by commas, an ampersand, and spaces. So let's start by changing the name of attribute to actor order since it indicates the order that the original columns were in. And let's change the column header of value to actor. At that point, we are complete with that unpivot. Now for writer, let's go ahead and separate these uh, via the ampersand. And it's a custom character at each occurrence of the delimiter. You'll see we now have writer one and writer two, and there are also several writers that are separated by commas in this column. So let's go ahead and split column by delimiter. And it is a comma, which is one of the default values, and we can hit OK. And at this point, we have five different columns for writers. So let's change this one to writer one. Writer two. Writer three. And writer four. And one more thing we'll want to do here first, let's multi-select all of those columns. And we forgot writer five, so let's aptly name that one writer five, then multi-select. So I'm eliminating the unnecessary spaces. on pivot. We can change this column name to writer order. This column to writer. And we're done. Now Power Query will go ahead and access that data from the source. It'll do the transformation in the in-between layer as it pulls the information into Excel. And what you'll end up with is a pivot table that has all of the columns unpivoted and the column which contained uh, multiple values separated and uh, entered into different rows on the table. So you could then take this pivot table and you could add it to a data model in Power Pivot 
uh, or you could work with it just like you would a traditional pivot table in Excel.